Y'all ready? Guess so. <laughs> Pumped. <laughs> it's now or never. Okay. Um, all right. Well, then let me uh, demo. Um, this is going to be a real short demo because um, it's, it's just um, showing some things that we're working on. Um, so I think that uh, I'm going to quickly share my screen if that's okay. I'm allowed to do that. Let's see. Uh, so uh, yesterday, um, you uh, during the all hands, um, we probably uh, I believe will mention that we were on the main project for the um, W3 uh, DT data systems team is we are putting IPLD Prime into Go IPFS. Um, we um, earlier this week built a minimal implementation of that by basically, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you want to call it, like a hack <laughs> of basically just making IPLD Prime look like the old one. Um, uh, so uh, we built this concept of a, of a, I believe it's of a universal node, which, uh, so, oh, by the way, who knows? If, I have no idea who, how many people know what IPLD Prime is versus old IPLD. There's two different libraries. Um, uh, IPLD Prime is like a super awesome library that does like all the parts of the IPLD spec, uh, including like selectors, including schemas. Um, it's like an awesome data model for like all of our stuff. And uh, then I, the old IPLD is like a thing that is uh, it does some things, but not most of the IPLD spec um, and it unlocks like all these cool data thing, uh, like data operations that we could be doing in our, um, um, in all of our applications if we can get it uh, all the way to the um, edges of Go IPFS. So we built this thing um, that basically like, like we started off by building um, uh, this sort of hack, which uh, effect effectively takes like the the new IPLD prime and wraps it in something that makes it look like the old IPLD. Be prime, um, uh, which is fine. That's like often like the easiest way to do a transition is to just like put in something that gets you to a baseline of not having to move over all your stuff at once, and then like you can work from there. Um, so we built this uh, thing called the universal node. Um, that's the basic unit of of both libraries is the notion of a node, though they mean different things. Um, uh, in uh, uh, but we built one that like does both of them. Um, and then we um, uh, and then we went and there's a service uh, that sort of is like your universal entry point um, for working with IPLD and IPFS uh, currently, um, and that's this library called Go Merkle DAG. Um, uh, this is the thing that allows you to um, essentially uh, here. Um, this is a thing that essentially allows you to, um, for example, um, read in IPLD data, um, write IPLD data, uh, uh, delete stuff. Um, and, when, and when I say read, that means like get uh, load in IPLD uh, data from like a block store or potentially from uh, from the from the IPFS network. Um, uh, it's sort of a transparent layer, um, and uh, it also it does a it does a whole lot of things. It also includes the um, DAG protobuf implementation of IPLD um, of the of the old IPLD. Um, uh, or the old form of IPLD. So we so we built this like whole like PR to like basically make that use uh, IPLD Prime under the hood, and that's all fine. This gets us to the point where we have basically the old interfaces uh, for working with IPLD and IPFS um, that use IPLD Prime under the hood, and that's great. Um, however, all those old interfaces are, are not really well designed for working with IPLD Prime. This enables us to get it into the system um, without having to convert everything at once. Um, but it does not uh, build new interfaces that are tailor made for um, uh, IPLD Prime. Um, so we now uh, we so now we're working on some of that. And the thing that I want to just demonstrate today, I'm sorry for the super long intro, um, is the first thing that we built, which is what we're calling the IPFS fetcher. Um, uh, this is the um, this is the uh, interface uh, that you will use uh, to request IPLD data um, either from, lo uh, from your local store or from uh, the uh, or from the inter uh, from the IPFS network. Uh, 
potentially. Um, and so I'm going to just pull that up. Um, and uh, we are uh, one thing is we've, we've decided to break up the fetching versus the writing parts of IPLD. Um, and one thing that this is nice about this uh, that this allows you to do is that uh, in the old libraries, um, you had this note, this core notion of like creating sessions. Uh, this may be getting super technical. I apologize. Um, and uh, now, um, uh, and now like, and, and you basically always wanted sessions, but it was a late bolted on feature. So we had all this code that sometimes wasn't used it yet. Um, and in the new version, like the only way you can work with stuff is through sessions. So that's great because it forces you to do that um, and make sure that you're you're setting things up properly. <laughs> um, but um, you can see we have some fetching functions. Um, you can fetch blocks. Uh, you can fetch a, a block that match, you can fetch a set of blocks that match a selector, um, which is really great. Um, uh, Cause that means that we can do traversals of DAGs that are not the whole DAG, but uh, rather a selection of the DAG. Um, but we also have like um, interfaces that will allow you to fetch, um, you know, a whole graph at once. Um, and uh, what else do we have in here? Um, we are building some stuff uh, like, we are allowing you to start if you've already loaded part of an IPLD tree. Uh, you can start from a node. Um, we, oh, you know what? I'm not actually using the, the right branch here. Sorry. Um, we are allowing you to do um, special, we're, we're allowing you to do fetches with specialized node types. This is a really cool feature of IPLD Prime, which allows you to um, basically define a type ahead of time uh, for your, uh, for the nodes you're going to be working with. Like, let's say I'm working with some kind of specialized data structure that I want to only look a certain type of way. Um, uh, so we're, so we're, we're adding uh, that as well. Um, uh, again, this may not make sense to those of you who aren't in the weeds with code. Uh, happy to like do a longer, a longer primer on IPLD some other times it's probably useful. Um, anyway, so yeah, so we're building these up. The current version of this under the hood, if you actually dig into it all the way down to the bottom, um, what we are ultimately doing is just using um, the block service uh, to get uh, individual blocks when we load them. Uh, the block service is a, is a way to fetch blocks one by one. It either loads locally or calls out to BitSwap. Uh, but in the future, we may actually replace some of this with graph sync or a combination of graph sync and bit swap um but yeah that's that's our that's our interface and now this is going to be like slowly filtering up the tree into um unix fs and whatnot so okay thanks everyone for bearing with me that i realized that we did not have a uh, very like we have very like programmer friendly and not very non-programmer friendly stuff to demo so thanks <laughs> yeah that's all i got uh, or questions concerns <laughs> Super cool. Thank you for demoing. Awesome to have getting getting stuff together quickly and moving fast.